I'm sure you're dying to know about all the things that happen behind the scenes, behind all the glitz, behind all the glamour that you may not know about. I will tell you this, the backstage area is filled with so many people, so many people, and I mean so many that are tending to hair, to makeup, just even outfit changes. There are teams of people working on this show that you may never see. And if you don't take the time to actually watch the credits, you will not know how many people there are. We're in the middle of rehearsals. First day of rehearsals for the finale. It is Friday and we kind of have lost the day to build the set. Another thing that isn't so glamorous but very consistent to last year is the ladies will be in those heels throughout the entire rehearsals and I made them stay in them. <laughs> and they died and they probably hated me for it, but they thanked me on the night because they had to wear the shoes in and um, get that bit of stamina of feeling the pain of being in the shoes. And it sounds horrible, but that's what happens in rehearsals. Um, another thing, you know, that people won't know for our stage to look pristine on the night is that it is continuously covered in a layer of plastic until show day, especially where the baobab was at the, 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 the center front part that had the baobab in gold. So we had to have like a separate slab of stage with the correct surface that all the ladies and the performers can go and feel in their heels because they were only gonna know it in show day. And that's sometimes what has to happen because heels scratch the surface and they do a whole lot of those things. So is the thing I was saying about muscle memory making sense? Yes. So you guys know and see where the mistakes happen, right? So the most important thing, which is great that you did, is you didn't show me in your face a mistake was happening. So example, Natasha, remember I say don't run. The moment you run, everybody in the room is gonna know she's late. But the moment you take your time and the new music plays, Nadia will protect you until you settle and go to the white shop. As long as you don't look like you're panicked, like something's going wrong, no one will know. So just keep those faces. If you trip, you keep, even if you fall, guys, act like you did it on purpose. <laughs> yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, our timings are not great. And we don't have the time to have done the cues, like, perfectly. So if songs run out and will protect you and you just keep going until you're settled in your final position. Does anyone remember about the five seconds to camera three and the red light? Yes. yes. So I know one or two of the cues was, was our fault in the van that somebody was cute to. Work. So tomorrow we'll make it work. We have one more run tomorrow. Another thing that maybe you won't know behind the glitz and the glamour is that um, the ladies we rehearsed for a long time. There's a lot of hurrying up, there's a lot of waiting, um, and this is the first time we just never rehearsed the show with everybody together. <laughs> oh, I still can't, we never rehearsed the whole show with everybody together, not once. We saw it for the first time on TV with all of you. Some of the major setbacks that happened this year with Miss South Africa, is that we had significantly less time to prepare for this finale than we did last year. There were a number of um, challenges that we faced. The big one being, of course, we had this whole reality production that was taking place, um, but there were so many things that were, were out of our control that it meant that we were fully into production just over a week before the show. And you might be thinking, Klipkhle, you are lying. I am not lying. That show was pretty much put together in a week, but at the same time, I just am having an epiphany right now as I'm talking. You know how they say, like overnight success, it takes 10 years, that's what it is. The reason we were able to pull off a show of that nature in such a short period of time with limited rehearsal is because we were so detailed in it last year. Like I lived and breathed Miss South Africa. I can tell you every detail of that show from last year. I knew all the lyrics, I knew everything. This year, there were certain things that were sitting in muscle memory and some things we had to figure out 
when we got there because you can have your stage drawings and be like okay I think people need to walk in here for the opening and then in real life you're like oh my gosh they can't walk there because this camera can actually see through the side or when I actually saw the set for the first time, I didn't like how the LED screens were sitting, so I got them to rebuild them again. So sometimes those are setbacks where, you know, you're sitting with your set team and your stage team, and and I wanted Thursday to start sound check and rehearsing and getting the ladies on stage, but we were like, no, we need to give that day for the set to be built and for the stage to be built. So we're gonna run the show top to tail, the first part we've replotted some things in the opening number and then after the opening number we've got stand-in judges then the second part we're going to rehearse the section uh the crown chasers section right so it's you guys first we're going to plot your walk and then after we do that then the top seven come back and then we do the prize giving then we run the show from top to bottom and just plot and fix Makes sense. Because I, I still, I, I, I'm not comfortable with you guys knowing where your timings are. With, with when to walk. I'm also a little yeah. bit unsure still of yeah, all the like, placements on stage That's are fine. so close to each other but yes. yet so different. Yes. 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 And also just not tripping. Yeah. Not yeah. tripping. Yeah, the, the trip has it. There, there was a trip yesterday yeah. because the, the stage trip still has it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the stage, yeah. the stage yeah. is pretty much done. The only thing is the front part where there's paper is, is my gold veil bab. It's gonna look beautiful. So that you're gonna have to look. Listen, it's gonna look very good. That's cool. I think I'm a lot more relaxed than last time, even though we're much more behind than last time. But we're gonna make it work anyway and get ready for the show. Because at some point I hand over to the team to run and I'm sitting in the OB van and checking things. So let's see how it goes. And in that time, it is continuously editing a running order, checking the timings of the scripts and the links having production meetings with our hosts, with the client, making sure we're updating what's happening with sponsorships, making sure we're getting input from the broadcaster, plus there's the marketing elements that are happening. There were moments where I was recording voiceovers at night so we could get a radio ad out. So there are a lot of things that delayed, but somehow I kind of feel like it was possibly meant to be that way because sometimes you have too much time you overthink things and you don't go with your intuition and I think a lot of the show this year was gut feel for me there were things that you know I remember Robot Boy and I were supposed to have a telephone meeting and we ended up just sending each other voice notes and I was like listen I'm gonna see you at rehearsal and I know for a fact he was like he didn't get hold of me and he's like yo let me know when we can talk and I realized, Jorge, I don't have anything to say to this man because I have to see it on the day. And that's what happened. We got to rehearsals and I literally at rehearsals will say, show me what you guys are doing. Similarly to what happened with Makazi last year. I'll sit and then I start to plot and plan in my head. And the plotting and planning in my head is not just where they're entering, who's standing where, who's moving where. I'm also like, what pyrotechnics can I do in this performance? Where are we coming from? Where are we going? It's a whole lot of things that's happening in my head. Plus, I must start to think, do I need to extend the song? Do we need to shorten the song? Um, there were a lot of setbacks, but somehow it's a blessing in disguise. And it sounds very weird to say that, but somehow it really is a blessing in disguise. <laughs>